Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna move this a little bit. My name is Kinley, if you don't know me, I am a registered nurse here in Oklahoma City. And I have been wanting to make a video about this for quite some time. Um, and that is about how I finally passed the NCLEX. If you know me, a lot of you probably don't, but if you know me, you know I had a very hard time with the NCLEX. I did not expect to have a hard time with it. Um, I definitely struggled more than I thought I would. I kind of went into the first time thinking I would not have an issue, thought I would just pass, no big deal. Um, and that sadly and unfortunately was not the case, <laughs> but we made it y'all. So I failed the NCLEX the first two times that I took it and then I passed on the third time. I just wanted to get on here and talk to y'all about everything that I did, what worked for me, what did not work for me, and how I finally passed the NCLEX and became a nurse. And if you are out there and you are struggling just like I did, do not worry. This test is not an indicator of how great a nurse you're going to be to your future patients. Don't let anybody make you believe that. Everyone around me seemed to be passing the first time, no big deal. And unfortunately that was not the case for me and that's not the case for a lot of people. Not everybody passes the first time and that's completely and totally okay. I went into my first NCLEX test kind of thinking I would be able to go in and just pass no big deal. Um, I didn't wait that long after I graduated to take my test. I graduated December of 2020 and I think I took it the first time the first week of February. So I did, I took a little bit of time off but I didn't wait super long. I have never been a bad student. I am not the best at studying. I have never really known how to study very well, even in high school and college. I kind of was that person that would just wing it and was making it through. And I don't really know how, but I would study, you know, day before and just be totally fine. And so I kind of went into the NCLEX with that mindset, which did not work for me. Um, so if you were like me, I don't recommend doing that because I went in thinking, Oh, no big deal, just another test day. We're gonna look over, you know, some main facts, some lab values, stuff like that, and we'll be fine. And that was not the case at all. Now the NCLEX is the most strangest, I can't even explain how different this test is from any other test I've ever taken. Even other standardized tests, this test is just weird. And I've always had a little bit of test anxiety, um, but the day of my first test, I just felt so weird during that test. I felt like I couldn't even answer the questions. Like I didn't, I truly had no idea. I was like, this is, it makes no sense. It was like it was in another language or something. Like I really was like, what in the world? Like I have no idea what I'm doing at all. <laughs> but I just remember, I vividly remember from my first test, there always seemed to be two right answers and then two that were extremely wrong. Like you could easily pick the other two out. Two answer choices that seemed perfectly exactly right to me. And I could not, I could not choose one of them. They both seemed 100% right. I felt clueless. Like I remember sitting in that test feeling like I knew nothing. Like none of it made any sense to me. I really struggled that first test. I know that the test has changed a little bit recently, so I don't wanna to talk too much about the exact test. The minimum questions you could pass on was 75 and the maximum was 145. I remember getting to 75 and my anxiety just skyrocketed the second I got to 76 because I thought, oh no, I still haven't passed. Like I'm not doing good enough yet. I got to the maximum questions on the first test, which was 145 in my case. And I remember I had a friend that had passed when he got to the max question. So he was like, don't worry. Like I pass, I got to 145, it's no big deal. Like people pass all the time on 145. If you don't know much about the NCLEX, there's kind of like a line once you get to the passing point. You have to be a certain amount above that passing line for a certain amount of questions to pass. And then if you kind of like drop below that line for too long or like too many questions, you fail. So you kind of have to like get to a point where you're getting enough right. And then you kind of get enough right in a row that it just pushes you over that pass point. It's kind of confusing. I looked it up on Google. It kind of explains it a lot better than I can. Getting to max questions meant for me that I was kind of just like hanging out around that pass line. The test basically was like, you're right there, you're so close, like we're gonna give you some more questions because you can fail earlier. You can fail at 75 questions, you can fail at 90 questions, you can fail at 100, you can fail at any point between 75 and 145, and you can also pass at any point between 75 and 145. What the test was doing by continuing to give me questions until the maximum question mark 
was it was telling me you're really close we're going to give you just like one more question just one more question two more questions you just have to get these two right and you're right there around this pass line just kind of like hovering you know they were like oh just two more and you'll be like right here where we need you to be i did not get to that point in the first test so I had to wait the 48 hours to get my test result back and did not pass the first time i kind of was like okay you know no big deal it sucks but like we'll do it again it's fine like i didn't really study that much so i was like i'll just figure it out so my mom actually found a tutor online <clears throat> on her website it said like 99 or 100 percent, something like that like 99 percent pass rate or something kind of a weird time everything was still like on zoom so she didn't even live in my state actually i didn't meet with her in person we met over zoom calls no shade to her at all in any way because i think tutors are great and they work for some people but it just wasn't what worked for me one thing i used a lot before my second test was uworld and uworld is something that my school provided to me they actually gave us a subscription through my school before we graduated i used uworld like crazy i would use it every day i would do practice questions every day practice tests everybody including people online kept telling me if you can get i think it was 70 percent it might have even been like 60 percent but they were like if you can get around 70 percent on these tests on you world then that's a good indicator that you will do great on the NCLEX you'll pass the NCLEX totally fine I was doing great on you world I had been used to it from nursing school and was getting 80s to 90s to even higher overall I was doing fine on you world like consistently getting averaging 80 percent to 90 percent on these tests I just wanted to take it and kind of just see where I was at see if I felt any better see if I passed possibly I just kind of like was over it I was like I'm just gonna go take it. I've done a lot of extra studying. I'm doing good on you world. I'll be fine. And I failed again. And that point was so heartbreaking for me. I remember thinking, I am never gonna get through this. I'm never gonna get past this test. I just was like, there's no way. It's just like a, a wall that I can't pass. After the second one again, I was like, what else is there to do? My mom, thank goodness, she was trying to help me and she was looking up things and researching. She found a YouTube video actually about this guy who had graduated nursing school years before. I think it was like 12 years prior or something. Didn't pass the NCLEX the first time and so he just kind of hung out, decided to do something else and kind of moved on for a little bit. Years later, he decides to go back and take the NCLEX again. He finds this program called Remar Nursing. So it's R-E-M-A-R -E nursing. He goes into this video and explains how he used this Remar nursing and he hadn't been in school in 12 years. And just by using this program, he passed the NCLEX. Like first time, this is all he used to study. My mom was like, why don't you try this? Like, you know, let's just keep trying different things, you know, like just try one thing after another and just see what's gonna work. And I really thought there was no way. I was like, there's no way. I just, I was so negative about it. Like I was so defeated. Um, so if you've been there, I've been there with you and you will make it, I promise you. Do not worry, okay? Because I have some great tips from this website for y'all. And I highly, highly recommend it. So I decide to get the Remar nursing bundle. Um, they have an NCLEX RN and maybe like an LPN one, I think. I'm not totally sure. They had the NCLEX RN package and I went, bought it. I was like, I'm hoping this is worth my money because... I don't know what else to do. When you purchase the package, she sends you a couple of things in the mail and they came really quickly for me, which is nice. So the first thing was this Quick Facts for NCLEX book. Um, this, I use this the day of my test and I'll go into that in a little bit. But this is just kind of some basic things. Like it goes into, if you see like Addison's disease, allergies, acute renal failure, it's A through Z, lots and lots of stuff that you need to know for NCLEX um glaucoma just all the random stuff the medications and all that are in here at the back so here we have like antibiotics anticoagulants all of the things are in here um so this book was amazing part of the package i love this thing um i'll go into a little bit how i used it my bestie here the virtual trainer okay so when you buy the package it comes with the virtual trainer on your computer that you can use and then she sends you these two books so this goes along with her virtual trainer like the videos that she posts this thing i love her this was my lifesaver and this whole program was my lifesaver remember she posted something that said 
if you send in a video review your NCLEX story or like how you use this or whatever they would send you a free t-shirt in the mail and I was like a hundred thousand percent I will leave you a review any day I went on and left a video review and sent it in because I was like this saved my butt for real I owe it all to this lady. Her name is Regina, she's amazing, she's so smart, so great. What I did with this program, she has little small video lectures on the virtual trainer. Once you like get it and open it up, it'll be kind of more like self-explanatory once you can see it. It's very well laid out. There's a calendar that you can use. You can actually print it off and have her calendar for you. I think what she said is her program is like a six week program, but you can go self-paced, you can take longer, you can go shorter. I actually completed the program in about three weeks. I mean, it was not difficult to do that at all. Um, I remember the schedule that she had and the calendar had you do like 30 minutes in the morning each day. So it was something really, really minimal. You didn't have to study a lot. Um, you could take the full six weeks and just do little bits a day. I wanted to take my test sooner because I'd already gotten a job and I really wanted to get started. So I was like, you know, I was trying to start a residency program. I'm gonna try to take the test as soon as I can with passing. <laughs> I did it in three weeks, so I would do multiple of the days worth of things in one day. Um, and that worked great for me. So you can kind of do it however you wanna do, self-paced. What I would do is I would go in there and it kind of does it for you where it's scheduled and you just open up for the day and you just can click on what's next. Everything below what you haven't done is locked. So you have to go in and just do things like in order as it guides you. She would post these lectures that I love because they're really short, they're not long at all. It isn't like a 30 minute lecture. They're probably like eight to 10 minutes. I mean, some of them were even shorter. She would just go over main parts of certain sub like sections or subjects. What I would do is watch her little video. And as I'm watching the video, there's a little part where you can click notes and you can actually be typing notes on your computer while you're watching the video. So that's what I would do is I would just like, as she's talking, I would just be taking notes like on my notes part of my computer. I would do that for the video lecture. After that lecture or the group of lectures is done, you have a quiz you have to take. They were pretty short, they were never long at all. You cannot go on to the next section until you pass the quiz, which I loved because that way you just knew exactly what you were missing. You went over things multiple times if you didn't understand or needed like a little bit of extra time on a certain section. Once I was done with a certain section, a group of lectures or you know, whatever subject we were going over. What I would do is go into this book. I'll show you. So this book actually completely goes through each of her lectures. So if you don't want to do the notes thing on the computer, that's just what worked for me. You can definitely just follow along in this book because this book is the exact same as her lectures. Sorry, I took a little intermission because I got a phone call. So the video lectures go through exactly what this book is. You can see this first section goes over pregnancy. So it has just like kind of basic information, probable signs, positive signs. As she's going over in the lecture, these are blank. So you can also be watching the video and just fill this out as you're going. You can definitely use this while you're watching the videos. My attention span could never, I could not be watching like 30 minute lectures. I could not be, I would, I would not make it. I would be a snooze fest. Um, I didn't even fill this one out. Go through and just kind of fill it out. There's all these blanks. I'll try to show you. Let's see. Once you get to the end of that section, you also have quizzes in here. You have a little NCLEX practice questions and then you have like judgment activities and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so then at the end of like a whole entire big section, you have a test at the end where you have all these questions in here. I would take the notes during the video. Once I was done with a whole subject or like certain section, I would come back to this and I would try to fill this out, mostly using my notes, but like try not to look at my notes as much as I could. Doing multiple things helped me. So watching the video while taking the notes and then kind of overlooking my notes and then literally going through the exact same material, but in this book and writing down what I had already taken notes over. So it's the same stuff that I've already seen, but you're just kind of reiterating it in your brain. And I loved doing that. That worked for me so well. The material seems super, super easy. Even finishing the program, even in the middle of the program, I was like, I'm really worried because this just seems too easy. It's just too simple. It's broken down so simply that I was like, I just can't even see this helping me because it's so easy for me. I really understood it. Every single lecture that she showed was amazing. I understood everything she was saying. That is actually, I think, what helped me the most was breaking it down, making it simple, making it easier. It helped, I passed first time after using this program. So I did this in about three weeks. I'd kind of study for maybe like six hours a day, just kind of in like the morning to early afternoon I would study and then just take the evenings off. That is what I did is I would just go back 
and after watching the videos I would go through this and then go through my notes and kind of fill in the blank spots. So I just found on the back of this it says Remar nurses have a 99.2% success rate. I don't know how much that means um, because my tutor said she was 99% but anyway, I do have a really, really, really great chance of passing when using this. So I used this whole program, went through it in about three weeks, scheduled my NCLEX. I honestly, truly was like, that was so easy. I don't know how I'm going to pass. Went to the test the third time right after doing this program. That's all I did. I did not do a single thing else. I didn't do UWorld. I didn't do Mark K. I did not look over anything else. None of my books, none of my nursing school notes, not a single thing besides Remar. I go into the test. Oh my gosh. It was so easy for me. So, so dang easy. I could not believe it was the same test. It seemed so much simpler to me. I was able to pick out the answers and the right answers so easily. I was like, oh yeah, like obviously it's that. Like why wouldn't it be that answer? I got to 85 questions. Kind of was taking it slow. I definitely am like a slower NCLEX taker. I was so anxious about it, especially on my third time. I wanted to make sure I was like answering each one and not just kind of like brushing off questions like they meant nothing because every question <laughs> means something. So I took it very, very slowly. I got to question 85 and remember my first two times I got to 145. So I don't think I said that. The first two times I took the test, I got all the way to max questions and failed both times at max questions. And it was just like right there hanging on y'all. Third one, I got to 85. My screen shut off to, it gave me like the option to take a break. Two hours you get the option to take like a break if you want to get up and like stretch your legs, go to the bathroom, walk around. Just sit there and take a mental break. I never took any of the breaks, um, so I would always just click no. I clicked no to the break. I don't want to take a break. Let's keep going. Come on. Like, it can give me another question. And my test shut off. It was like, oh my gosh, I just messed up something. What did I do? So then I'm looking around, just like, oh no. Like, what have I done? I got up, and I'm like, well, I guess like, either I just messed something up or I just failed really badly. Honestly, I still had that thought in my head because I was so used to just like getting in and failing. Like either I just like broke my test, like I just messed something totally up or I just failed way worse than what I failed the first two times. I just was like, that that's the only option in my head was failing. So I leave and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I cannot believe I just failed so fast. How have I done worse? Like this program is so simple that I just did even worse. 48 hours comes and I freaking passed y'all. I passed the NCLEX finally on my third try. 85 questions. I was so proud of myself because you know, 75 is the minimum. I was like, wow, I really, you know, I mean, it was my third try. So not like it was my first time or anything, but I just could not believe it. I was like, that is so crazy. Oh my God. I was so happy. I met this girl at work who was having the same problem as me. She was like, yeah, I've taken it and I failed. I don't know what else to do. And I told her, you have to try Remar nursing. It's amazing that you should try it. So weeks go by. I remember showing up to work. This was like a few weeks later. She was like there as a nurse. She must have passed. Like, that's amazing. What the heck? I start getting these questions and people that I went to nursing school with, nursing school with knew that I was having a hard time. I had a couple of people who were younger than me and had graduated after me that were messaging me on social media and asking me, hey, like, how did you pass it? Like, I am having a really hard time. People who had, you know, taken it multiple times and not passed. And I told each of them, I mean, it was a few people. There was probably like five people that I told this to. I said, use Remar. It's amazing. Like it dumbs it down. It makes it super simple. Every single person that I recommended this to passed right after doing this program, right after completing it, they all passed. It was just magic. Like it's just amazing. It's just the best of the best. So I come here today to tell you all about it because I highly recommend whether or not you're struggling, not struggling, just studying for the NCLEX in general. I love this program so, so much. She does a great job of telling you exactly what you need to know for the NCLEX and what you don't need to worry about. Like I didn't know crap of like what exactly I was supposed to know for my test. She does an amazing job in her videos of telling you, you don't need to worry about this part, but I would stay focused on this part. You need to know this, but like I would study more of this part. It was amazing. I just loved that she did that because it made me feel a lot less stressed because I knew exactly they were going to test me over. Test day. I woke up early. I'm not a morning person. I actually feel like I test better in the afternoon, which is crazy, but not schedule my test for the morning. I think it was at like 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. maybe. Slept in, made breakfast, made coffee, kind of relaxed a little bit. I did not study study, but I did look over my Quick Facts book. It even has a page for mnemonics. So if you can see in your mnemonics, it goes through each of these and has like a little mnemonic for random things if you have a hard time remembering, like the Mona 
um, for MI medication. So like morphine, oxygen, nitrogen, aspirin. It goes through stuff like that. So you can look at that if those help you. Or if you just feel like you have a hard time with like osteoarthritis, something like random like that. This is so helpful because it says what is osteoarthritis and it kind of tells you in really simple terms, degenerative disease of the joints. Osteoarthritis is the blank form of arthritis seen in the elderly. So it's the number one. So easy. It's so broken down. So simply. If you're in a hurry to go take your test and you're like, oh, I don't remember this one part. Or if you just have a hard time remembering the differences between certain things. This book is just so helpful. This placenta previa versus abruptio placenta. This little part right here goes through all of that. It just has everything. Oh, and it also has. So you guys know those skill checkoffs we had to do in nursing school? It has all of those word for word in here. So like this first one, applying and removing anti-embolism stockings, applying. And it has step-by-step step how you would go through and do that if you were in like a skills check off. Turning a client in bed, hand washing with soap and water, providing denture care, giving a bed bath. It has every single thing in here, word for word. It would've been really helpful during my CNA class that I had to take. Giving a back massage. <laughs> I didn't have to learn that, I don't think. And she also at the end has this pharmacology section. I know pharm is a really difficult class. This starts with allergy medication. So it has all of them right here. You can look at, uh, I think it says analgesics, yeah. Right there, like so. Anything on these pages is something that would be helpful for the NCLEX. So I always knew she's not gonna include anything in here that you don't need to know or don't need to worry about. Every little quick fact about like certain medications and certain things, I knew. That is something that if I'm asked a question about that, that will be something that's helpful on the NCLEX. The book is not big at all. It is super thin, if you can tell. I just love this program so much. I could not recommend it more. I have never told so many people about something in my life. I was just so excited to come on here and talk about it today because it truly saved my NCLEX But I was at that point where I was like, I'm never gonna make it. But thank goodness, Regina. Regina helped me pull through. <laughs> if you guys have any questions for me about the NCLEX, or nursing or anything like that. We'll be happy to answer it down in the comments. If you liked my video, like and subscribe. I am new here to YouTube, so I'm gonna start posting some more videos, hopefully about nursing and other things like that. All of my future little nurses out there, you're amazing, you're doing great. It is so dang hard to be a nurse. It's so hard to study to be a nurse. You will make it, I promise you. If I can do it, you can do it, okay? I made it, we did it. You guys are amazing. You're so smart. You're gonna freaking kill the NCLEXs, but good luck to everybody out there. Love you all. I hope everyone has an amazing week and good luck if you're taking your test soon. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll see you later. Bye guys.